A little smelly. <laughs> It's going great. <laughs> Cause you have to remember they would have been working with like a fresh cat. Right. Ew. So these are the intestines that we have to take out. Mm. I think just kind of, and that's the pool it left in the cat. Now we are beginning the, the process of extracting the kidneys. Okay. Okay. We're rinsing the cat because they need to rinse the body from the Nile. In the night. It's <laughs> 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 all rinsed and ready to go. It's time to dry them out with some salt. Salt was the best way to preserve the bodies. It helped dry everything out. Are we supposed to put this on? No, this is for after flow. No. Alright, we're trying to get off all the salt that has hardened over the cat's uh, body and we're <laughs> using, using primitive archaeological excavation techniques, <laughs> brushes and <laughs> knives, we're trying to scrape away all the salt. It is proving a lot more difficult than we planned. Okay, so now we are going to anoint the cat uh, as I would in ancient Egypt and say the incantations for burial. Thou hast received the perfume which shall make thy members perfect. Thou receivest the source of life, and thou takest the form of it to give enduring form to thy members. Thou shalt unite with Osiris in the great hall. The unguent cometh unto thee to fashion thy members and to gladden thy heart, and thou shalt appear in the form of Ra. It shall Spread abroad the smell of thee in the gnomes of Akert. Thou receivest, receivest the oil of the cedar in Amentet, and the cedar which come forth from Osiris cometh unto thee. Now we are wrapping the cat. Grant thou that breathing may take place in the head of the deceased in the underworld, and that he may see with his eyes, and that he may hear with his two ears, and that he may breathe through his nose and in the underworld.